Tie reinforcements. Stirrups. The tie reinforcements are composed of ribbed steel bars and ribbed or smooth steel stirrups. A well-made tie reinforcement is key in the concrete quality. It is important to bend the extremities of the stirrups at 45 degrees. If they are not bent inwards, they are weak and can open up in the case of an earthquake. It is necessary to alternate the position of the stirrup hooks around the tie elements. Stirrup spacing. Stirrups must be placed at a constant distance from each other. 50 centimeters from all vertical and horizontal tie intersections. The spacing of the stirrups must be half this distance. Overlapping lengths. It is essential that all rebars, vertical or horizontal, overlap each other by a distance of at least 60 times the diameter of the rebars. This distance is called the overlapping length, and it allows the suitable transmission of traction forces. Tie beam, the L connection. Corner connections must follow the same logic as two hands crossing fingers. In other words, always going from the inside towards the outside. Additional rebars must be placed on the outer side of the connection. Tie beam, the T connection. The connection rebars must never be bent around the inner corners of the connection. They must always cross the plinth beam and bend on the outer side. Tie column to tie beam connection. At the top of the building, the vertical rebars must be bent down horizontally to the tie beam, respecting the rule of the overlapping length and placed inside of the stirrups.